implications of this match very big as both Ernie Osiris and Chase Dakota look to crack the top five and secure that number five position. Oh yeah, that's a big thing. You know, even the Ultimate Fighting Championship has went to that format. They now have rankings and the only one of the top three guys can challenge for a championship. So. We're uh, kind of setting a trend there with that one. A little bit of a hybrid rule system, so to speak, combining those elements. Chase Dakota, Ernie Osiris locking up here. Osiris a little bit of a step ahead so far. <laughs> Drew back, and man, Dakota did not want any of that big right hook that looked like it was coming from Ernie Osiris. He has that fringe on it, so you don't know exactly where it's coming from. Oh, boy! Osiris oh. dives to the floor! Good wow. grief! With the suddenness of a lightning strike, Ernie Osiris Osiris dives through the ropes, and the Ultra J, the Junior Heavyweight Championship, recognized by Pro Wrestling International, encourages that type of risk-taking, that type of fast-paced action, but it, it looked like it did fan. not work. It was killed a fan. We talked to him about that. Looked like Osiris got worse into the dive than Dakota did. Well, he actually missed a chop on the outside and hit the post. And Chase is taking full advantage of it. Of course, Solomon Spades lurking around on the floor. I'm not going to comment any further on Solomon Spades of the Black Watch because that's not what I'm here for tonight. But undeniably, he has mentored Chase Dakota enough that Chase Dakota knows to go after that hand that has been compromised, and that's exactly what he's doing. Smart wrestling. I mean, what can you say other than smart wrestling? Just on a, on a, on a personal note, I think we're going to ban anyone else from using Eminem in this company. It just never works you have out. That, you have that stroke if that's what you that's, want to do. We're banning it from here on out. Sorry, Eminem fans. Osiris firing up. Oh, nice forearm. Of course, Osiris was trained at the Ring of Honor Wrestling Academy. Chase Dakota, a product of the Mid-Atlantic Dojo. If you're in the Greensboro, High Point, Winston-Salem, Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, part of North Carolina, and you would like to be a pro wrestler, visit CWF247.com for all the information on the Mid-Atlantic Dojo. Chase Dakota, Eric Royal, Chiva Kid, Brad Attitude, and so many others that have uh, began training at the Mid-Atlantic Dojo and gone on to nationwide acclaim. All the info on that is at CWF247.com. Nice Osiris with a crazy. Boy, this Ernie Osiris is so fast. Ooh. He almost just secured the number five spot right there with that roll up he, so quick. He might have secured a broken jaw right there. A lot of those broken jaws are going around going these around. days. It's going around like the flu here at CWF Mid-Atlantic. Man, I don't start on that flu. Trevor Lee out of action with a broken jaw. We understand Trevor Lee broke the jaw of William Cross in the chaotic, crazy scene that ended end of an era two weeks ago. An act of, uh, I guess, retaliation. We understand we're going to hear from Trevor Lee later tonight here at Crossroads. If you are watching the complete event online, we thank you. Trevor Lee will be out in a little bit to give, I guess, his side of the story of things. If you're watching us on YouTube.com just this bout, we thank you. We encourage you to follow us on Twitter at CWFMidAtlantic.com. Like us on Facebook at Facebook.com backslash CWFMidAtlantic. Ernie Osiris now coming back up on Chase Dakota. Opting to use the left arm for those clotheslines. He didn't really get him good on that last one, but he knocked him off his feet, and that's kind of the key. He still rocked him. Oh. Five minutes have expired. Five minutes for Nice back stunner on 316. Great little backpack stunner there. Ernie Osiris, great ring positioning, turned it into a cradle. Very good ring positioning. Now it looks like, another, looks like a victory roll, maybe. Oh, oh God. God. That looked like death. <laughs> Dakota German dropped him on his head. Avalanche German suplex only. Only one. Like this kid, one? this kid wants it. He's been beat up for years at the Ring of Honor Wrestling Academy, and he wants to make a name for himself as a singles wrestler here in the Carolinas or anywhere in the country. Springboard kick. I don't know how well he got him though. Got him for two, but not three. Tiger wall kick. Chase out of it, man. Man, I would have took a two count even if I could kick out at one after that. Absolutely so. That springboard kick. I'm not sure if the risk was worth the reward there. Big knee right to the sternum. Dakota going for that fancy fisherman suplex and dropped him on his head again. 
in. He got him. Great ring positioning. And Dakota is the number five contender to the Ultra J Championship.